it's Lizzie. How are you guys? Okay, so I'm making a little video to show you guys how I do my skin tones. I have a very simple and easy way to make your own skin tones with watercolors. Some watercolors. Ooh, so many colors of watercolors. See, there's not really one that's like, hey, use me to color in your chickas and your dudettes. Like the cool little pencils. Who is this? Prismacolor makes this one. I use this for a while. And then you have your Copics. And even though the rest of my images would be watercolored, I would still revert to using these two things, sometimes together, to color in my skin. Okay, so you're going to need some sort of a palette thingy. This is from like the Crayola watercolors I used to use last year. And the colors, like I used them so I popped them out. I didn't need them anymore. Instead of throwing this away because you guys know I'm cheap, I kept it. So you're going to need something to hold your colors in. I mean, any kind of a painter palette thing will work. This is actually really, really handy. And then, of course, it's watercolors. So you can just use water and soap and wash it out and use it again. Unless you're dumb and you forget that you use acrylic paint in it. And then this one's just kind of forever blue. Can you say hi, Lily? Yeah. No? Lily doesn't want to say hi. And then you're going to need all kinds of brushes. Brushes. Lots and lots of brushes. And then your image, which the image I will be using today is from Tickled Pink Stamps. Her name is Lil Lolita Ivy, and she's probably my favorite girl that they do. So you can pick her up at tickledpinkstamps.com.au, I believe. <laughs> I think that's a good look. It's you, Purpose! <laughs> Expecto Patronum! Okay, so now we're going to paint. This is the image that I'm using. It's from Tickled Pink Stamps. You can pretty much use whatever image with coloring skin. Here's our little palette, and now we have our big brush. We're going to dip it in the water. We're going to go over to an orange and just get it nice and wet. To a darker orange, a lighter orange. Move on to the yellows, and don't forget the white. The white's actually pretty important here. So just get your colors nice and ready and then we're also going to do a little bit of brown because it does come in handy especially for our shading just you know get them nice and wet and now we're going to do our mixing so here's our colors we're going to get a little bit of a smaller brush get it nice and wet get some of our orange and get a whole bunch of it on your brush and then you're just going to like scrape it off into your palette watercolor holder thingy sorry the video is messing up and now we got some more of a lighter color and then add water to it because with watercolors when you add water it thins out the color and it lightens it up so more water lots of water and now we're going to add white here is some of our white now it's going to lighten it up a little bit which is good that's what we want we want a nice light base color more white mixy 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 we're gonna test it out mm, don't really like that too much it looks a little orangey can't really see it in the video but it did it looked really really orangey and then we're going to do some more white da, 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 da. mixy 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 and let's see mix it up some more let's test it out hmm I don't know 
this is all trial and error you might want to do a different type of a skin tone maybe more of a mocha color I mean it's this is can be used for anything for any color that you're trying to make now I'm taking some of my color and I'm putting it in a new one and look brown we're making shading so add some more water gotta thin it out la di da di da and we're mixing and let's see and that looks good look see yeah good to go now I'm using my coloring brush and we're just going to lightly color in the skin a good tip with watercolors is to always when you dip your color or your brush into your color go run it across a piece of paper or something before you start coloring in your image just because there might be a big bubble of water on there and then as soon as you touch down on paper it's gonna like explode and that's never fun so we're just we're coloring we're doing some darker now it's not too dramatic video is not really picking up a lot of it but you know find your light source where's your shade where's your light what's going to be darker what's going to be lighter and da 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 well looks fun huh do 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 my name is Lola Lita Ivy and I am so awesome boop boop boop